Okay, we're continuing along with the fixed layout. And we talked about the container in the last video and how we set that at 968 pixels in terms of the width. Now with a fixed layout, you have to be rather precise in terms of the widths that you set for your different sections. They have to all add up to equal 968 pixels. If you're too short or you're too long, you'll get some strange results, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. So it's pretty easy for the header. If we take a look at the header here, it's 964 pixels right in here, and then we have four pixels total of the left and right border, and that gets us 968 pixels. So it equals the width of the container, which it should do. But it gets a little trickier when you have sections that are side by side. So the main section right here and the sidebar right here all have to add up to 968 pixels. So let's take a look at that. So if we go down to the sidebar here, we've got 176 pixels here. And so let's put that in the calculator. And again, 176 pixels. Now the border is two pixels. Now you'll notice I didn't put a border right. I only put a border left. And that is I wanted the borders all around the web page to be two pixels. Well, if we added two pixels here, we would get four pixels because keep in mind the main section also has a border. So I only wanted to put a border on the bottom, top and left side, and then just use the border from the main section. And so we just add two pixels for this border on the left. So that gets us 178. Now let's go down to the main section. And there you can see the border left that I have for two pixels. And the border right also has two pixels. So two pixels for the border left and two pixels for the border right gives us four more pixels. So let's add that in here. And now we've got 182. And then the width of this section is 786 pixels. So let's add that in. And that gets us 968 pixels. So everything is very precise and fits our container perfectly. And now let's go ahead and alter the width of this and let's make it 790 and you'll see what happens here. So let's make that 790 pixels. We'll save this, get rid of the calculator. If we hit refresh, ah, you can see what happened here. The main section was thrown down here below the sidebar. And that's because this could no longer fit in the container both of these sections side by side. So that's what happens if you're not precise in your calculations in terms of determining the widths of your sections in a fixed layout. So let's go ahead and fix that. And we'll set this back to 786. We'll save this, we'll refresh, and everything's back to normal. Now, if we go under, let's put this at 776 pixels. And we'll save this, we'll hit refresh. And now you can see the main section moves it in. So this is not very pleasing to the eye, is it? So that's what happens if your widths come in under the width of the container. So you'll get strange results, but not quite as strange as actually going over, but it still looks a little weird. So again, the main point is you just want to be precise. So if we set this back to 786 pixels, we save this and everything is back to normal. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna add a few tiles here they're going to be like squares because we're going to get to the master and content page concept. And so before we do that, I actually want to add some tiles to this section and that will tie in nicely to the master and content page concept that I'm going to talk about in a few videos. So we'll do that in the next video. See you guys then.